I call the shots, I never call it quits. Trust my intuition, bet it's right, and bitch, it often is. Seen too many others come and go, they had the wrong intent. Do it out of love and never for it, then I watch it get bigger than expected. No second guess it, I let it set in. It's God's plan, we out here only accepting blessings. I'm stuck with it, this mindset is terminal. In and out different terminals, leveling up is personal. Now I already made it, y'all can miss me. I smack my girl's ass, tell her pinch me. It's hard to believe I made something from nothing. No hindsight discussions. I've been writing, I love it. Welcome to the Three Gig Sports Podcast, where we are never wrong, just sometimes misinformed. Miley, Jimmer, and Danny G in the house tonight. We've got some fun stuff to talk about. I'm excited. This is like usually a slower time in sports right yeah. but there's plenty going on out there man oh so much I, like up. we're trying to do this thing danny right we're, we're trying to all of us are trying to trim the video down right we're yeah. trying not to we're trying to hit like around that 50 minute mark 45 minute the nights like this make it extremely difficult mm-hmm. uh it's like pulling yeah. out <laughs> right yeah like hey, pour- are you gonna tell the uh, viewers about my new business Ooh, yeah. What tax evasion? Ta- Shady's tax services. How may Shady's I help you? Shady's tax services. <laughs> uh, my man's got to pay him, but not much. <laughs> Don't know how. The math isn't quite there, but Where'd it's it go? there. It's magic. magic, magic. It's magic. If if this works, you are going to be my tax guy. Yeah, I will be it. <laughs> I will be it. <laughs> if he goes to pay a minimal, Danny. What he could do to make my refund even bigger would be fucking shocking, right? It'd be like a stupid number. Yeah, 100%. Right? Yeah. Okay. So you think about doing it. Just matters what way you put the info in, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but the accurate info in could be quite different. Yeah, like, throw I, an extra zero here, take away one from this I one. Scanned the pa- <laughs> I, scanned, I scanned the paper. I can't help that the printer forgot a zero. Sorry. Jesus, blame me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ink ran out, right? Yeah. Shadies. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Let's uh let's kick this bitch off, though, man. We've got, I think we're going to get into some good conversation, dude. Uh, We're going to ro- we're gonna start with. The ongoing uh, saga and drama of John Morant, who I do believe has now officially been an extended four day uh, four games, but Colorado did investigate his Instagram uh, live video of him throwing up the gun and shit like that. Cause they have they have open carry, no big deal or whatever, but they also have the same laws that most states do have, and you definitely can't be consuming alcohol. When you have a gun on you. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. Tink, tink. Uh, but that being said, uh, they have decided not to press charges. Yep. Or there isn't going to be any charges there, but he's still going to miss multiple games. He did deactivate all of his accounts. He's going to miss more than multiple games. He might, he'll probably miss the rest of the season, dude. Uh, the fact that he brought that gun on a team plane to get there, like he's going to be... It might be into next season. He'll be gone for a while. You think so? Yeah. They're, they're going to have a hard time proving that. They brought the gun on the plane. How do you know he didn't have a basketball star? Give it to him. I don't think at this point he's in a position to try to dispute shit. What? I think. Well, all the stuff that's been going across. I like, think when he said he's going to step away and the reason they say indefinitely from the team, I think he's just going to do whatever he has to do. And he's going to try to save to face get right, at this point. Try yeah. to save face. Like you don't, if you go up and throw up a, Especially after you posted the video like an idiot too on top of it. After after all that, you're gonna still sit there and throw up defense to something like when you clearly were doing something you probably shouldn't have been doing. It wasn't illegal. That technically wasn't illegal. But how'd you get it? You're gonna sit there and keep you're gonna play that game with your team that's already trying to save face themselves and keep you as their franchise. Yeah. That you're not getting criminally charged. You're not battling a criminal charge. Now you're now you're battling the 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 look or the perception of the public opinion. Now that's what you're dealing with. That has nothing to do with the the law part of it. Yeah, I don't care about that though. Okay. I care about I mean like what he's you know, I don't agree with it, but how do you know he didn't have a basketball star from Alabama bring him the gun? No, I agree with you. I do. I actually do agree with that. And you don't know if he doesn't use. he doesn't have buddies that are there. But I what he's saying and what I'm saying is that you don't you almost don't want to do that. Now you're just making it uglier and uglier and uglier. You're extending it out further. 
when oh. you when you when you've already had sh- you're so you're driving because this team isn't the first the, thing. No, this isn't right. the first thing either. Yeah. Like, and then on top of that, you push it out even further and put them put your team under more fucking stress when they've been sitting there. All they're trying to do is save face at this point. So they don't want to get rid of you. So but we, now we we can't let you sit here and do shit like that. And then, so you're saying he didn't do anything criminally? No. So there's no investigation. That right. Sense. This so is the on the NBA, NBA side. Yeah. Okay, now the saving face makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're just trying to save face. He's still one of the guys that the NBA wants to be the face. Yeah. Right. He was so hyped up last year. Um, he had. I think at this point, Memphis is even still the number two seed in the West. Not going to be for much longer. No, because Dylan Brooks is also going to be down for a little bit. Stephen Adams is out for the season. Stephen Adams, you got so, uh, uh, Dylan, Dylan Brooks and I. Have you seen that Dylan Brooks and uh. Draymond, Draymond Green yeah. and Draymond read his quote back and he went like step by step. I'm not a Draymond guy. You know that. Yeah. But I laughed my ass off and he was a hundred percent correct. Yeah. You know what he was reading? He said, and then because he was honest on one of them, he said, yeah, I could see that one. That one makes, that one makes a little bit of sense, you know, but then he started shooting it down and, and I just thought it was funny. The little battle between them. He's like, normally I want to give Dylan Brooks the time of day because he's trash, but I'm going to go ahead and put a quote out. So we'll go ahead and go break it down. Yeah, they're one of those teams that talks so much. It's like they've won something. Right. You know, they have not won a damn thing, but they think they're something. Right. He, it he, started with the off season, right? Uh, when John Morant said that about uh, the West, he's not worried about, right? Yeah. Hey, uh, you remember the movie Eight Mile? I know we talked about this last time, but you remember the movie Eight Mile? Yep. Yeah. Who's the guy that shoots himself in the thigh? Cheddar Bob. Cheddar, Cheddar Bob. Bob. So, Cheddar Bob. So we got John Morant out here trying to be Cheddar Bob. <laughs> and then we got uh, Cheddar Bob being more gangster than John Morant. <laughs> Very true. And Very true. I just, why is that the persona that he chose? Like, he wants to prove he's bad. I have watched that man dunk. He didn't, he doesn't need a gun to prove he's bad. Like, yeah. what he does on the court, that that that's awesome. Why would you change who you are because I, I think personally, he probably has like little man syndrome in the NBA. What? Well, Maybe. Yeah, but you just asked a question. So give us a okay. second to answer your question. All right. You said, why would he change his persona? Right? Yeah. Okay. He's always had the persona. He just doesn't have the life background that would typically goes with it, number one. But number two, this is also coming from a guy that changes his accent when he plays online video games. That's because so, that's because I'm with my homies. Okay, we out here winning. We getting three wins in a row. I'm gonna talk however the fuck they want me to, James. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but see, you would change for that. So, but that being said, I don't know if he ever really changed. I that's mean, on that, the what I mean is like after the age, the young age, teenager. Once you start getting into that, no matter what your upbringing was, yeah, that was his, that's his persona. That's a, that's been there. It, just the background of where his upbringing isn't there compared to what typically is there for someone that acts gangster, right? Technically, me and Danny should be acting more, a hell of a lot more gangster from how we grew up. Yeah, poor. And- Listen, my school was down in a holler in Kentucky. Okay, oh, there you go. And yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We all used to yeah, dress you, up as gangbangers but, out here chopping wood. Hold on. You can't be a fucking gangbanger in Kentucky. You guys are just like toothless, like half toothless and like fucking each other's. That's from all the. Your own mom. That's, that. that's from all the sisters. fighting. That's no. from all the fighting. My all guy. The fight. Is that what it is? Yeah. The, the cock fights. The cock fights. <laughs> and we weren't fighting roosters. I think a big. <laughs> <laughs> I think a big problem with John, like he got paid $200 million too, right? So. He now he's the man like he, he's not going to listen to his parents. He makes more money than his parents now. Right. So that persona just gets amplified because nobody can tell him otherwise mm-hmm. until finally some shit like this happens where he has to look in the mirror and be like, fuck. Yep. OK, I'm about to lose this. So hopefully he's doing the right thing. He's only 23. Right. He's got he's some time to correct man. it. He's a young man. Yeah. So but I, it, I think uh, he can it, when you do this. This, this is a hard one to. He can come back, obviously. Yeah. It's going to take a little bit when, we start, when you're flailing a gun around, and there's multiple stories of it. It's not just one instance either. That's what that's what's going to hurt there for a second, but he's going to have to go in. He's going to have to cut some of his fucking – some of his entourage. Like, you you don't have the right support group in front of you, like, not keeping you straight in the head. 
Yep. Like, that's part of the problem. Jalen Rose touched on that too, right? Yeah. No, hell with that. All three of us up here, I'm not going to judge him. I'm not judging him. No, no, but, like, I'm saying, like, all three of us Mm -hmm. have not always done things by the book, you know, needless to say, you know. Mm -hmm. And... You know, we, I've been putting, Taxes. I've been, I've been, I've been put in situations where it either made me grow up or grow down. And the ones that made me grow up is why, you know, is how I've made it to be 31. John Moran at 23. I let this one, you know, if I'm the NBA, I, I think you let this one go. Like you give him his time by himself and then we see what happens. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, my wife is on the phone. In the middle of recording. I gotta go. <laughs> hey, hey, I like that movie. Hey, can you can you shut it off for a second? Like I don't even know how you shut the damn thing off. There should be a button to hang up. I am in the middle of recording. I will take care of it when I get home. Good. I'll take care of it when I get home. I promise. <laughs> it's a wild night in the holder wow. home. Wow. That's uh, that's my youngest son. Uh, I lost where I was at. Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> Drum rant. Growing up. Yeah, you're saying you, uh, yep. if you're the... NBA, you let it slide. No, not let it slide. You let him learn, let him develop from this outside of the court, Mm. but let him come back. Yeah, and you just got to have somebody keep a close eye on him and just keep him out of situations. You definitely do. Because he can grow from it, man. Yeah, he needs Inspector Miles behind him. Hit me up, NBA. I'll take 120. I'll follow him around. There we go. There you go. But since we're on uh, NBA, let's talk about some of these injuries, dude. All right. So you saw, we talked about this a little bit ago before yeah. the podcast, right? KD. Yeah. They were, like KD being healthy, they automatically should be able to make it to the finals at least, right? Yep. Potentially win it. What was this game, Jimmer? The first home game? First home game since, <coughs> since he's gotten traded. Yeah, dude. And yeah. in warmups, this man's just going for a layup. And did you watch that video? I didn't him? watch the video, no. No reason. Just go into the hoop and rolls the shit out of his ankles. Ankles like touching the floor. Like oh my God. rolled it. No reason. Wasn't juking. Wasn't he was just going to the cup and just randomly out of nowhere. Like oh my God. and so this man's gonna miss the rest of the season. Yeah. Obviously that hurts Phoenix. They're not gonna be able to make the finals if he's not healthy. No, but I'm sorry. So it's two to three weeks? Right? That's what I just seen. I'm surprised NBA players don't roll their ankles more often. You wear a new pair of shoes every halftime. Well, yeah, dude. that, yes, that, but I actually am surprised it doesn't happen more often. When you do have 82 games in a season, I understand they only play 50 of them. <laughs> no shit. But you're jumping, running nonstop. Like, how many pickup games have you played and you rolled your ankle? Yeah. We man. have not played 80. We have not played 82 games in our lifetime of basketball, if you think about it. Like full NBA full games. Full five on five running, and you're running for 12, uh, 48 minutes. Not yeah. if you're LeBron. Right? So, and how many times have I rolled mine is my point. Yeah, no you shit. Know? Like, Tons, I'm actually surprised it doesn't happen more often. Yeah. But uh, it hurts. It's bad luck for him. It's bad luck, obviously. God. It's bad luck for Phoenix because they gave they don't have very many pieces hanging around there to keep them. They had to make the playoffs too, right? Like they could still fall out. They they're, they're all bundled together. Yeah, they're so close. And outside the top three, everybody else is like right up against each other. Like literally, a few. I want to say I looked at it a couple days ago. There could be like a five game stretch if uh, one or two teams goes on a five game stretch. One goes on one of losing. One goes one on winning. Like let's say the Lakers, because Anthony Davis has been balling out, right? Even without them, but and they got a bunch of pieces while LeBron was gone. Now they literally could flip all the way up to five. Interesting, you said that because after they traded Russ, they all the way up. They're right now if the NBA playoffs started, they'd be the nine seed. So they've jumped up to the nine seed. Meanwhile, the Clippers 
have dropped to the eight seed since they acquired Russ. <laughs> so that shit's wild. But you mentioned the top three. Do you know who those top three are right now, Jimmer? This shit's insane to me. I did not realize this. Top three teams? Yeah, in the West. Uh, Denver. Yep. Uh, Memphis still. Yeah, ish. Yeah, they're, they're, they for won't now. be. They're going to plumb yeah. it off. Phoenix. Uh, no, not Phoenix. You, no, you will not guess this. Denver was. No. No, no, uh, no, no, no. I, don't I know actually that. do know it. Give me a second. Might be the youngest team in the NBA. Oh, yeah, Sacramento. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I actually they are did know that. They're fucking rolling yeah, lately, dude. They are. Well, that's what oh happens when God. you get Keegan Murray, baby. I'm telling you, that whole squad is that so good. That whole squad good. is, uh, they finally, with that team, they've done what, um, we were talking about that with the NFL team not that long ago, right? They acquired so many first-rounders for so long. You had high-end first-rounders, like number one to number five. Yeah. It's finally hitting for Sacramento, and they're growing. So the few that they had start growing. Some other young talent up in there, too. You add, and I mean this as a brag and as being real, you add a Keegan Murray who's seasoned beyond his years now. I mean, he yeah. has... Uh, he's he wasn't a he wasn't a freshman coming out off of one season right played multiple and you were the man um and but he played both he played the other role where he was the uh the sixth man or the role player when Garza was there then he turned into the man the next year after that so he has some and then De'Aaron Fox has went to a different he is stupid insane level insane right now yeah oh my god dude did you just explain that dude's whole sex life <laughs> basically <laughs> basically that's how you start off right yeah. <laughs> He you're not really in lead. You're not really the in the lead at the start, and <laughs> yeah, I just think it's pretty cool that they're up there <laughs> with that young squad. It'd be cool to see him do something. Uh, but w- back to the injury piece, man. Mm-hmm. So obviously, Stephen Adams is out for the season. Uh, ja, with him and Ja, they're gonna just plummet, like we said. Uh, Luca has a thing going on with his leg. We're not sure what's up there. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns is hurt for Minnesota. Obviously, Braun and AD are hit or miss. Like, it's wide open for anybody. Oh, and uh, Zion, I think he's out. I think at this point he's out for the season now. Is he officially? I think so, yeah. So they're And they were looking good, too. Yeah, they were looking real good. They were looking like a force, actually. Yeah, so injuries are just plaguing the West, man. That, that being said, I don't know if the Carl Anthony Towns one hurts as much. They, it's almost like they play better defense and all around when he, that sounds really bad when I, like, I'm not trying to, when you take a perennial all-star off there, yeah. that can do almost anything. But it seems like they play almost a little bit better, especially in defense, as a defensive team. The Luka one is going to really hurt. Because I do believe his quote was, because it wasn't back last time I see, MRI clean. It says MRI clean on Mavs uh, Doncic on his thigh, but he said not good after the game. Just the fact that he had to have an MRI, dude, it's got to be bad, right? Yeah, like that's it's got to not... feel bad. Yeah. So I don't know how long that's going to take. Uh, maybe Kyrie can. Kyrie did show that he could carry the load for a little while. He really did with the Nets. If we set all the BS aside, yeah. You know they're not they're not number three, four, or five in the East without what he did through the season, right? Because KD wasn't out there. Right. You know, so they're going to need him. They're going to lean on him heavily right now. Like, hey, I need you to carry it for a little while. Lean on me. Yeah, and since he's come to Dallas, they're basically in the NBA history, their offense is better than any team ever. Um, per, what, like, what is it, 100 minutes or however they do that bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um they could be scary if they're both healthy because we all naturally think Denver's going to be Denver. So I actually think this could help Denver bust through. I hope if it does. All, if all these cats are down like that, they're playing a different brand. They, uh, they have people, which is going to lead me into a different segue. We are going to touch this, actually. Uh, it's my passion project. I know you had to have seen it. But JJ? JJ and uh, Kendrick. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yes, we're touching on this. Kay. You know? Go ahead. Have you seen this yet, Miles? Well, I was gonna touch on uh, Kyrie. You guys say he's, you know, yeah, he's gonna be the man. Yeah. While 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 Luke is gone. Yeah. If he's gone, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Kyrie's out there doing shrooms and smoking weed out there in Colorado, and now we're getting the best version of him. Ha! Maybe the world is flat. I'm telling you. He might be. I'm telling you, he might be on to something. <laughs> we don't know. We've said that, man. That he might be the funnest basketball player to watch, ever. He is when he's on the just when he's on the court. Yeah, yeah. He's but not he's a very good movie uh, examiner, <laughs> though. Not a what do you call them? Movie uh, 
Critic? Uh, critic. Yeah, he's not very good. I mean, you can did like you, your own movies, but... Yeah. Did you end up watching that movie? No, you gotta pay for it. Way to go, Amazon. Way to go. <laughs> of course. <laughs> They're like, if we're already gonna rub people the wrong way, might as well make a buck off of it, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this does segue me into another part. Have you seen... I need you to watch this if you have not watched it yet. And that is Kendrick Perkins and J.J. Reddick on First Take. It's so good. Have you seen it yet? I'll bring it up and you can listen. I'm going to have to listen. Okay. Give me one second. So you do, the, otherwise, it uh, defeats the purpose. I of know J.J. Reddick said something. Con- con- whatever. That no, was. It, actually, he just called it out. I, that's what I take it. Yeah. Like, yep. Uh, I read it, but I can't remember it. I know I read it, but I didn't know it was about J.J. or Kendrick's. Oh, it's because of what Kendricks was saying. It was about the MB, uh, MVP voting. Uh, you can give a little backstory, Danny. I know you know what we're talking about. Yeah, so Kendrick Perkins was basically talking about why Jokic is the favorite yeah, versus somebody like Joel Embiid. And uh, just off the cuff, what's the difference between those two players, Miles? One's taller than the other? They're, See? He- yes. You're damn right. That's the only yeah. fucking difference between those two players. But that is not the difference that Kendrick <laughs> Perkins calls no, out. No, and he and then he went back into years as his example. He says, says and he cut it off in 1990, which JJ Reddick brings up the next the next day, which is funny. He I don't know if you saw the, the I didn't next see that day. part. Oh, you need to see that one too. So he cut off conveniently in 1990 when he was making this debate. He said the oh. three the three players that have won MVP. That did not that were not in the top ten in scoring were Dirk Nowitzki, Steve Nash, and there's one more. During that time frame. Dirk Nowitzki, Steve Nash. Tim Duncan. No. What? No. What? Uh European. Jokic. Oh, duh. Jokic. Yeah. Duh. Duh. What do they all have in common? And that's exactly what he said. They all play basketball. I like it, Miles. But you know where we're going, right? But what do you oh, think yeah, he yeah, was yeah. meaning? I know. What do you I think know. he yeah. was meaning? And then JJ kind of jumps him about it because he's sitting here saying that. So I have the video of the first day right here. Oh, we can't cancel this motherfucker. Kendricks. He's actually getting chewed up by a lot of people now, mm-hmm. and he backed down the second day. But this is the same. He, he's preaching what nope. he. That's so. That's the second day. Does that make any sense? He's preaching what he's. He's going against what he's preaching by him being the one to say it. Is that right? What's that? Who JJ, or Kendrick? Kendrick. There we go. I'm gonna get the volume up. I'm not sure. Let's listen. They provide insight. They often reinforce what we see. So they kind of complement the eye test. I know you're an eye test guy. And you- the scene, that's the second day. You guys need to hear this. I need to find, they. I don't know if they're blocking the other one because it keeps saying the, the quote, but then it goes to the second day video. Regardless. Yeah, just uh, read the quote. Read what he says. I don't have the quote. I'm, oh. I went to YouTube. Okay, so basically he's like, listen, Stephen. I respect this show. I am glad that I can be a part of this show. But part of the problem is exactly what he just said. Insinuating that it's a racist Got thing. It. Got it. Okay. We all know what you implied the other day. We all know what you implied this time. Hold on. I said it at a time. It's the fact. It's the fact. I like how Steven says, one at a time. This motherfucker stupid. interrupts everybody. I, being stupid. I get where it's, it's going. Stupid. Don't worry about it. But basically... Kendrick is See, saying that the voters are racist and voting for white people over black people is what he's saying. And so J.J. Reddick calls it out, and he's like, that, that's the problem right here because you're spewing shit like that. And then Kendrick gets, clearly gets all upset over this. Yeah, yep, he's super. He's like, that's not what I said. That's exactly what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's what I was trying to say. Is he, he So he's going against exactly what he's trying to do. Pre, right? Yeah, he's trying to argue like that's not what he was saying. No, yeah. no, no, not even that. Like, so if I'm a man of that or of, of that orientation, if you're a black guy, yeah. If, okay, yeah. If I'm a black guy, okay, and I go to a white guy and I say, 
<clears throat> about the voting, right? Mm -hmm. When I do that, I'm already inserting the problem into my mouth. Right. Yeah. And, and that's why JJ got mad. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And just like acting like there's no reason Jokic should be the MVP again. And he absolutely has a case. Right. I clearly. Not just a case. Top two, no matter yeah. what, no matter how you look at it. So, yep, this is it. This is it. I yeah. got it. Finally. I'm going to say edit out again, but here we go. We'll see. Let's try it again. It is extremely valuable. It is an honor to be on this desk every day. It really is. But what we've just witnessed is the problem with this show, where we create narratives that do not exist in reality. The implication, what you are implying, that the white voters that vote on NBA are racist, that are they, they favor white people. You I just not, said that. I you did, yes, not, you did. I yes, did, you did. did yes, not, you did. That I is did exactly not, what you implied. Not, I Kendrick Perkins. All right, guys. So I don't. I, I wish I could uh, hear what Kendrick very, Perkins very, very, said word for word, but you get a taste of it, I guess, just from what he has to say. I can find that one too, but it was it, so it goes into that level, right? It goes into and he and he starts calling it out, and actually Stephen A. didn't shut it down. By the way, his first take is Stephen A.'s. There's no joke about that. We know that, right? Yeah. yeah. And he actually doesn't shut it down, right? And usually Stephen A. is one of those cut it out. The, no, that yeah, well yeah, but either that or he'll feed into the one side. He actually just kind of sat back and he's like. He doesn't want to because he knows what Kendrick what Kendrick Perkins was implying was stupid. Yeah, it was the dumbest thing you could have brought up for a stat. Because th those same guys that won those MVP also, which one of the, which one of them also led outside of outside of those three players you're talking about? Because he's talking about white versus black, right? How many of those led the league outside of just recently? I don't even think he led the league, but. Uh, Steve Nash led the league in assists, mm -hmm. so those don't count because the MVP isn't is only scoring. Right, it's they have a scoring title for that. Yeah, it's about win shares also. Winning is the biggest part. The biggest part yeah. being the best player on the best team. Yeah, right. That's usually what it goes by. So I got a uh, a scenario here. So he's implying the voters, as in people that watch the NBA. So I at first I was confused on who was voting at this point in time. Mm -hmm. So it. So it's normal people watching it. Like, uh, I think it's the journalists on that, right, Jimmer, that vote for MVP? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So, so that's it. who he's talking about, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I, I was going to say, if he's saying that it's like us people voting and there would only be one way to break it down, how you would know who's voting, and that would be by the cell phone provider. So you're actually legitly going to the cell phone providers and being, hey, yeah. Uh, Hey, uh, we got a lot of votes from Verizon. Can you tell how many of these are this race? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, he's good. like it's like, it's, it's even hard to find the clips anymore because everyone's everyone's chewing them up. So that's what you're getting clips of. Like Charles oh. Barkley is like Kendrick Perkins is, is basically an idiot because it, everybody you have a bunch of guys that it. say he doesn't even know basketball. Like in that, and it is actually when you listen to him, he wasn't very good at no. basketball. No, for a couple of years real. he wasn't even good. He was just the. Guy that would set a pick and play for the defense, very defensive minded um, uh, Celtics. So James is stating for us to get views tonight, we need to label this as Kendrick Perkins. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. But yeah, uh, but JJ like he just throws something out there that a lot of people have already thought, right? Like everything about that comes, it almost seems like an ESPN quite a bit. Like, how do you expect to for racism to? heal or to stop or to at least trim down as much as possible right how do how do you expect to do that exactly how he answered the question earlier is how you're supposed to be doing yeah exactly <laughs> i'm being dead serious no, i'm not I, mocking no you. I'm i being get dead it. serious why and it's been said many times why do i have to be a black quarterback yeah i can't just be a quarterback or like the super bowl this year yeah two well, black that, quarterbacks well yeah but they've brought they've brought it up the the coaches you know the um old boy um that was miami's yeah. You remember which one I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. But he, he brought it. He was like, why do I have to be a black coach? Mm -hmm. Why can't I just be the head coach? What What's wrong with that? Like, that's got to st The narrative has to stop. Well, they bring it up like this all the time, especially on first take, right? Nonstop. And kudos to JJ because he may never touch a, touch a mic on there again. It, it's going to do one, or, one, one of two, of two things. Two. It's either going to skyrocket him and he's going to be the next skip with – 
You know, Stephen A. Or yeah. yeah, you're right. He's done. Or he's done. It's yeah. going to be one of the two. But he called out what is literally what goes on there quite often. Or and about, especially Kendrick Perkins. Like what he insinuated, so that was so bad. Yeah. Just make the argument for Joel Embiid. There was nothing wrong with making that argument. No, right? he's legit too. He's Either legit. one of them could win MVP. Either one of them could. Yeah. They're just as close as like the the last two years, right? Now Jokic is averaging a triple double as a big man doing it. Yeah. And he's not trying to average a triple double. He's not stat padding. He's not going and doing the Giannis, which the NBA took away, by the way. That was funny. That At the last funny. couple seconds, he goes, he was one yeah. rebound away. You seen that? Yeah. yeah. He went to go throw that up. And that and, other and guy just took stared it away. at him like, what the, f- what the hell did you just do? Right. But the NBA did take it away. So he didn't get accounted for. But that's like that. stat padding. That was a shot. <laughs> Technically, it was. Yeah. Uh, so that's America, though. You just summed up America. That's That's all it is. The media pushes it. We breathe it. We see it. And quite you, a few you, people. You choose to believe bad. it, not believe it. But yet you get forced to believe other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you. It's, we, a, it's a choice to either accept it or not accept it. But you can't. We've all. Nah, not saying it, but it is what it is. It's. We need more JJ Reddick. <coughs> and yes. I think, uh, in my opinion, his NBA um, analysis role, if you will, is like uh, Tony Romo in the NFL. Like I love listening to him talk basketball, yeah. just like Tony Romo. Yeah, in football. Mm-hmm. Actually, he might have dealt with more racism himself because a white dude on the court with the yeah. Muslim. There's always I'm people telling talking you. shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. always talking shit. But that being said, he was a better basketball player than Kendrick Perkins. What's up? That's yeah. right. Duke sucks. What's his line that always puts Kendrick Perkins uh, he's at the end of his statements? He says something like, "Okay, I don't even know. I can't. I'm out." Or done, or or carry on, carry on. Yeah. Uh, there we go. My bad. JJ Redick was a better basketball player by far than Kendrick Perkins. Carry, carry on, on baby. carry on, my wayward son. Uh, let's move on to some NFL. Let's do it. Uh, What's that? We have some heavy quarterback talk. Heavy quarterback talk. So first off, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna ramble off a bunch of shit to you. Okay, try to absorb. Try to spit out your idea afterwards, okay? First off, we have Geno Smith, who agreed to a three-year, $105 million deal with the Seahawks, including a whopping $52 million to be paid the first year, okay? Basically, an agreement that uh, he's agreeing to be the bridge quarterback, okay? One hell of a payday for that, too. Derek Carr agrees to a four-year deal with the Saints. The deal could be worth up to $150 million and includes up to $100 million in guarantees, uh, sixty million fully guaranteed at signing, and will earn sixty million in the first two years. And he's moving from the toilet to the dome, baby. Yeah, but that also brings up my second concept of that: that they've proven it time and time and time and time again. The salary cap doesn't exist. It doesn't make it. It doesn't sense. exist. They were already the by far the furthest in the hole, and then you add Derek Carr. So, and then uh, the Jets flew out to have conversations with one Aaron Rodgers, which has to be approved through the Packers when you're under contract to yeah. whatever team. So obviously it's an okay situation right now. Yeah. Looks like either the dude's going to retire. He's going to be a jet. So keep that in mind because now he knows that the Packers don't want you either. Exactly. Or they don't care that you're going somewhere else. So that something's happening one way or another, right? Then maybe the biggest one. And it's kind of like the glue of all these together. Lamar Jackson got the non-exclusive franchise tag. Now, anyone that doesn't know what that is, first off, when you get franchise tagged, we'll say franchise tag first. When you get franchise tag is the average of the top five salaries at your position the year before. Okay? That's what it is. So, he is going to be... Now, he had a non-exclusive. There's an exclusive and non-exclusive. Exclusive is your, li- and the number's going to go up, too. Uh, no, I, I actually got that. Yeah. Yep, yep. No, yeah, I'm good. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Yeah. So, it's going to be the average of the five uh, for a non-exclusive. An ex- or for exclusive. Uh, exclusive. A non-exclusive is going to be any team can make an offer for him. And then they just have a, and then they have uh, the ability to counter to, they, match, that, it. to match match it or go beyond it, which it's always match. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But the conspiracy theory going around, and it's looking pretty damn solid so far, is that the owners are um, rallying against it. 
This is a way to teach them because of what got paid out to Deshaun Watson last year. Or was it last year? Last year. Yeah. Uh, rid- a ridiculous amount. And that they're all, what's the word I'm looking for? Colluding. All inspiring, colluding, yeah. colluding to not pay this man because otherwise you would go grab a 26-year-old MVP quarterback when everyone's looking for a quarterback regularly. So, tie all that in, digest, what do you got? Glad to see some guys get paid. I like Geno getting paid. Um, Danny Dimes. I think he's going to be good. Danny Dimes. Oh, I did forget the Danny Dimes. Go ahead, Danny. This, yeah. one, bu- this one bugs you too, by far too. Well, Danny Dimes was interesting because he didn't get – uh, the 45 mil a year he was looking for. So it's a four year 160, mm-hmm. but 82 guaranteed. So it's not that amazing. His signing bonus is 36, and technically his average salary is 40, but it's not even close to 40. Like this year, he's going to make nine and a half million, and then it goes up from there. So it's he kind of got paid, and if the Giants do well, he'll earn most of that, right? Yeah. But yeah, I think that was a decent deal for the Giants because he was not going to get forty five. And then what they what were they going to do without him? Right, fall right back. Like I we I think we all discussed that part, right? Like don't want to pay him forty five fifty million. Agreed, thousand percent. But if you're somewhere in the ballpark like that, that's a pretty team friendly ish deal, right? Yeah, you have to pay him at that point, in my opinion, because then what are you doing? Like what you were doing for so many years trying to find a quarterback, yeah, right? Just flounder. Yeah. Right. So you either have one or you don't. Right? Yeah. And as far as Lamar goes, I think you're right on the colluding thing, but I think it goes a step further. So this is shitty but really smart by Baltimore's part to say non-exclusive because they don't want to pay that full contract he wants, but they know another team will come in and offer something less, and they can match and say, see, we're paying you what another team would pay you. Like, it, So beyond not just wanting to pay what Deshaun got paid – it's their way to see, like, this is what, you know, the market says, whatever. And it's 32 mil is fucking insane to me, man. He won't play for Baltimore again. I agree with you. I Go down it. Go down it. Because I was about to say it. Well, say it. well, here's the deal. You've, pro, you've proven to this franchise who you are, what you're capable of. You're, you're a dual threat, first off. And I, me, personally, I believe he deserves the running back money also. I mean, I think he deserves... Not what he's asking, but close, pretty damn close to it, okay? Um, I think he is trying to be an advocate. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go off the rails here for a second. You know that rapper, Mac, uh, Tom McDonald? Yeah. He does everything himself, you know, self-labeled, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So against, uh, what are them called, record deals and mm-hmm. all that? Mm-hmm. Just so he can be his own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Lamar is going that route with this. Well, he is. He, you're right. He is his own um, yeah, agent. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. his own agent. But I think he's trying to prove a point to other athletes. You don't need to pay this money to these agents. And while patting his own pocket, clearly. But he's a dual. He's a dual threat. He deserves the pay. I can't. What am I missing? Here? Many, many, many player. I'm gonna. I thought you were going a different route. No, I. I can't. I can't nail it though. It's there. Um, Go ahead. First off, many players have done this in the past, and they by not having an agent, you end up getting boned. It hurts you. You need to go get a bone. You need to go get one. What's a um, tax write off? It doesn't. It, uh, it. Whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. It, like Shady's. Yeah, Shady's tax services, but many players have. Uh, who was it? Andre Johnson got himself underpaid. Yeah. Because he represented himself, him and his mom or dad or some shit like that. But it doesn't matter. It wasn't through an agency by any stretch. He underchanged himself horrendously. And of course the Texans took it. There's teams, there's players that do this all the time. They think that they're above what a agent can do. It's like you going and serving yourself in court, my friend. You're defending yourself in court. First thing that that judge is going to see is, and, and he's going to say actually flat out is, you know, uh, a, um, a client that has a, what is it? An inter, how, how's that go? Interpreter. No, no, no. A client. Court order. Or attorney? defendant that uh, has a. Oh. Attorney. I know where you're going. Yeah, I can't remember. I, I know what word you're looking for. I'm mixing the two up. Basically, it's a, oh, uh, public. An attorney that has himself as uh, a client is a fool. Basically, 
basically you're you're yourself and you're not getting representation. So the representation is what that's what they do for a profession. That's what they do for their job. That's right. a, that's is their life. They're going to get the best deal. Why wouldn't you? Because they want to get paid too. They go off percentage. So the higher they can get your dollar amount, the more they get too. Yeah, exactly. So it's actually, I actually think it's kind of a little foolish. You should be negotiating with your agency when you first get an agent about the percentage they're taking. That's what you should worry about. Be- because not only are you paying the agent's percentage, you're paying your agent's lawyers to go over your paperwork and make sure it's all done correctly and that you're signing exactly what you think you are too. Yeah. Right? That's going to bug me that I can't remember that goddamn phrase. That's going to bug the shit out of me. You have the right well, to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against corner I thought you're. Your I thought you were going. I thought you were going a different route, though. I, I, thought, I, I did, but I, I got off the rails on the Tom McDonald thing, and I forgot it. Yeah, so where do you think he's going to go? Or why do you think he's going to go somewhere? I'm listening. I don't think, he, I, I don't think he's going to go play another down for them. If he does, it'll be a couple downs, and then he'll be injured. Do you want to play that game? I'm going to collect my 32 mil. That you just got, that I just got, whatever the, whatever or whatever the contract that comes back, Ooh. and I'm gonna get it by way of injury. I'm still gonna get that money, and I'm not gonna play a single down for you. And that's what you get for fucking around. Yeah. So players actually hold more ground than what they think, right? The only way you tone down a player is by benching them, like you don't play in and on a contract year, so that other teams don't see it. So the, mm-hmm. that's how he can get some of his power back, and I think that's what will happen. Now, that being said, I am shocked to this point that a team has not came up and tried to do it. If I am... The Bears. Yeah, but the Bears don't need to. That'd be a trade. Yeah, that'd be a tra- that, would, that would involve a trade. Now it's, on a, now it's on a non-exclusive tag. Now they have to make him an offer. Then they would have to trade Justin. But no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a little differently. Why wouldn't you? And this would be the ultimate fucking move. If I'm the Steelers, I'm making a max contract offer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw you, and I like Kenny Pickett. I do. But he's still on a rookie deal, right? Go max pay that dude. So now, Ravens, you either get to watch this dude dice you up and you're our biggest rival in our division, and he'll bring that game even more every time he plays you because how you how dirty you've played him. Or you're going to pay him, so you're going to eat up your salary cap. One of the two. Yeah, I like that. Offer him the 48 mil. Get somewhere in the ballpark at least because he's been nothing but like stonewalled and like shitty deals. This whole, all, all these offers, right? Yep, yep. That's exactly what I would do. Bring it on, baby. And if we do get, if we do get stuck with Lamar, fuck yeah, let's ride. Yeah, let's go. You don't even need the offensive line necessarily because he runs for his life anyways. Right. So we'll invest it right there and we'll try to bring in whatever we can. You're going to set them back. You will set the Ravens back. They, Clearly, are not the same team without Lamar. They're not built that way. They would have to go try to grab one on the fly. Huntley might have been a Pro Bowler, but we all know that 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 ship was sinking. Yeah, when Lamar was down and out. That team is built for Lamar. Go Steelers yeah. in this aspect right here. You I go grab it. him. I love it. Bengals could technically do it too. No, you're talking about the power play, not about you playing him. Don't yeah. think about the playing him part. Yeah. They could technically do it because I think they have some cap space. Um, and then Cleveland obviously can't. No. <laughs> but you know what I'm getting at? Like yeah. in division or you find a team that is like right there, like pluck them away or like threaten it with it. Like take the number up. Let's go. If you're not going to pay him, you're going to insult the man. We'll go ahead and drive the number up. And if you want to let him walk, we'll, che- we'll use him to chew, chew you up and spit you out. I like it. Man, the Steelers, that would be fucking genius. Yep. A uh, couple quick, though. Derek Carr, was it a smart decision for him? Wish he would have gone to the Jets. I feel like New Orleans is going to turn into the Colts. His quarterbacks are just going to go to die. They're not. I don't know. I don't like it. It's better than nothing, but I don't like it. It's Katrina a, and Carr. <laughs> they have. They have plenty of weapons, in theory, if they're all there and not in criminal stuff. They have Alvin Kamara. They have Michael Thomas as long as they keep him, which I think they have to keep him this year because the dead, the dead money's too like too stupid like on top of it. So right. they'll have him for one year, I do believe, unless they trade him. They have Chris Olave. Um, they have Taysom Hill, who's kind of like fucking 
you know, I gadget he, man. I heard he broke a toenail, might be gone all year. Who's that? Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas, probably. <laughs> and then the defense will be the issue because there, there has to be casualties somewhere, right? You have to try to Cam take Jordan, the number down. He's going to have to go. Or he's going to take like a bet minimum. He would, maybe, though. He would, though. Yeah, I think he would. Yeah. But they, he wants to stay quiet right now because he doesn't want to take that. Hey, uh, don't draft Olave in fantasy next year. With all that said, like, I guess they could win the division, though. That division's pretty bad. So they could still be – maybe they're the favorite now, actually, that he went there. They might be all right for a little while. I just don't think they're going to be good for too long. What? You don't think the Panthers? I think the Falcons. No. What? Stop. I'm they not. actually came back down to earth after their early yeah after their little run yeah. five and zero oh. yeah. was it like the, uh, it was three. The, was it well, three? well it was them and the Eagles there was the battle of undefeateds wasn't it I, I could be wrong but there was a battle of undefeateds and the Eagles were involved no, I don't in think it. I don't think Atlanta was or it was uh, Minnesota you know? was it the Vikings and the Eagles yeah the Vikings and Eagles. it was early yeah, yeah. I'm, early. I'm way on the other side of the map on that one but Sorry. no I don't know about Carolina with the new coach and stuff I don't know how that's gonna all work out. Um New Orleans is sitting the best probably right now. Tampa Bay is going to completely fall off. I agree yeah. with you there. What? Atlanta. Dude. I, I actually Dude. think the Panthers have a legit shot. They could. That defense, they definitely could. If, yeah. if they play it right, if they do everything right. I think they have a legit shot, but we'll see. Uh, it's not – but I'm with you. This The Saints have by far the best – in, in one of the probably weaker divisions, right? Yeah. It just Especially, feels like the window's pretty small, Yeah. right? Like, I don't know. That's what yeah. she said. Hoofta. Did you lie? Uh, All the time. What else did you have? You brought something else up, too. I don't have it in my notes. You brought... Uh, oh, let me look. It was a big one. Let's oh, it's a big see one. what it we was. were talking about. I was like, yeah, I want to talk about that. Uh, do, do, do. No, I think we hit on everything, bro. Did we? Yeah, we touched on the injuries. We no. done. We're, we're just on top of shit. We are just on top of that. We're cruising. We are uh, on top of it, baby. For a, a I did. I did have. Uh, what are we running for time, Danny? Uh forty-seven, brother. All right, we'll get it wrapped up. Remind me about you. Just, I'm like your father because this doesn't matter. Uh, like a time-sensitive one, just the John Jones and the chatting. The and, goat. Yeah, the goat. Did you hear what I missed at the end of the fight? What we were talking or whatever, but he uh, after he got interviewed by Joe, he's like, "One more thing." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch I'm like, that. Damn it! I missed that shit. Yeah. You know what you guys missed? What? I didn't pay for it. Ooh, well played. Well, you don't pay your taxes either, so I'm not <laughs> shocked. <laughs> no shit. Uh, yeah. Do you got make sense? Yeah. Are you sure? Because I got one. If you don't. All right, go for it. Okay. Completely serious. Work related. Oh. Here we go. So we have a we have a dryer. We have multiple dryers, right? And then we have supposedly supposedly have three dryers. And oh, then man. then they played this. Now we're playing this game where two of the dryers is considered a system. How system. they're not tied together? Yeah, it's a system. Oh, weird. Weird. By the way, our pay ranks or bands they like to call them are based off of each individual thing you do at work and they're in a yeah. pay band well the dryers were part of different pay bands it can get you into one but it can't take you up you need to learn the other ones to take a to slide up in the pay band wait hold okay? on hold on before you go any further i remember you specifically bringing this up with the pay bands when the dryers got mm-hmm. thrown in. So like that. Th- yeah. Now it's being called a system. So it's not actually a third dryer, but we all can't go in and say what they said that day. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just Doesn't make, matter. Just make they sure do what they want. Okay. Yeah. You're going to learn real quick. This is uh, nah, whiteboard. It's uh, all rules, all regulations. Everything's written on a whiteboard. Why do you think they don't set the pay band back out for you to see? Have you seen it since that day? I yeah, yeah. Yeah. You remember it, but what do you mean? You remember it? Uh, it doesn't wait. Exist. We can't it get it there. Where's it at? You can't see it. That... Oh, you try word. to look it. I, I might have got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Regardless. Go ahead, go ahead. regardless I took a picture. We, one of the dryers is kind of getting a little obsolete. It's more of a specialty dryer of the system. <laughs> specialty. So there's only so many guys that can run this thing. Right? 
Now, what does that mean usually if you know that there's something that can is difficult to run and there's only so many people that can run it? What does that usually get you in life? Lamar Jackson money? Yeah, paid more. Yeah. Right? Usually, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, then, if you don't want to pay more, you at least have to start training people on it, right? Yeah, definitely. Right? Because, like, what if they say, fuck you, and I'm out? Or I'm going to, like, forget everything I do know know about this. <sighs> That'd be trouble. You know, things yeah. amnesia happens all the time, right? Yeah. So... We they are hitting us. They are hitting it for the first time next week, and they only have one of the specialty dryer operators on one of the shifts, and they are running it all week, almost all week. It's supposed to be barely running, but all of a sudden we found some stuff. Don't know. We'll probably come back as rework, and we'll touch it again. Cut bags, but regardless. It's coming back or like it's we only have one dryer operator on there. That's it. There is nobody else. There's not a guy that was that barely touched it or kind of touched it at one point. There's nobody on that shift. If that guy gets sick during a sick time where there's a lot of where there is a lot of uh, strep throat going around, there's even a little bit of that vid kind of bouncing. I think some flu has been showing um, people have hernias. Things happen. And a buddy of ours who kind of has a little a, a, a little um, touch of it, and he, he kind of knows how to run it. He just when he got dicked down so many times about pay, he just he's like, "Fuck it, I'm not get, I'm not gonna learn this. I'm not gonna sign off on it anymore. I'm done." Yeah, but he knows a little bit. <laughs> They've he goes up and he has the best leverage he could possibly have. Right, tells him. You are dropping like flies. You do not have enough people to run that. You definitely don't have it on one of the shifts. And actually, tonight they're not going to have. They have one person. If that person gets sick, they're done. Right? They're going to have it again next week. So he's like, hey, I'm more than willing to learn it. Even though you guys have hosed me many times in the past. Told me I was going to get a raise for learning something. I never get a raise. They gave him the same, they gave him the same spiel. And I. So they need him. They need him to do it. They need a body. They keep saying that the, this dryer is, uh, they can't justify training anybody on it. Well, now you're coming down where you're actually seeing it. Like you need to do something, right? Yeah. So they kind of bent a little bit. They're like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. But it's in the it's in the pay scale, though. It's in the band. So you got to learn it, and then you'll get the pay raise, which is the same thing that has constantly been told to him throughout the year. So he's kind of. A shaft, a shaft. He he knows it's he he's like I'm gonna probably do it, but he's like I've been, it's been shitty the whole time I've been there when it comes to it. I've been, it's been twisted around. I haven't gotten paid. They went back on their word countless, countless times after I learned something, and he's like, so I'm very highly skeptical. I doubt it's probably gonna happen, but. I think he's a dabble for a little bit, but my point is, is you know that it's there. You don't have enough people and you're not training anyone because you can't justify it because it doesn't make enough money. Right. But you don't want to take care of someone that's kind of like right there. It'll take minuscule. It'll take minuscule training. Right. Cause he kind of knows it. Like here's another body. And all we have to do to appease you is give you a dollar an hour. That's $40 a week. Before taxes, but forty dollars a week for you to just basically, and that would appease him. I don't know if that's a dollar amount, but you know what I'm getting yeah, at. It's min- yeah, throw, min- it's got to be at least a dollar, right? Like you throw the dollar amount. You're talking about forty dollars. You're you're dicking a guy down for forty dollars a week. That's fucking insane. We waste more on that in running toilets there that they don't fix. Promise you that. Jesus, dude. So makes sense if you don't think about it. Jeez. Yeah, that definitely makes sense if you don't think about it. They better get it done. They better actually stick to their words. I get nothing pisses me off more when a when a company a company. So every level you go up in life, peon to it doesn't matter. I'm talking about life management, everything. It doesn't fucking matter. But the farther you go up into a company, the more respectable and in control you need to be. If you're a peon, you you're gonna talk around and talk slang. You're gonna swear. You're gonna be. You're gonna have a what is that a uh, Fuck you, a, a, a porta potty. You have a fuck you type thing. But the higher you go up, you have to learn how to become 
you know, eat more civilized, if you want to call it that, more yeah. civilized and work your way up, right? And how you talk and how you represent. Well, that also means telling the truth. Because if you get more truth from the guy on the bottom rung of the thing, that is also using the F word as a comma, but you get more truth and honesty from him than you do the fucking CEO, that's a problem. Yeah. Right? At least in my opinion. But I'm also on that worker B side. So I'm on down at that one, down at the bottom. If I ever ran a company, we run this, but this isn't there yet in financials where we need to worry about that. I promise you that will never happen. That will not happen. I will bitch slap each and every one of you. You think we're going to act like that? Because I don't, I don't believe in that. You treat them like people in the world. We're going to work with this because I need you to do your job. I need you to do your job so I do my job. Yeah. And we forget that the farther up it goes. Yeah. And that bugs the shit out of me. We don't use common sense. It's corporate mind and it's whoever came up with that mind i would like to choke because every company's trying to just be the exact same yeah whatever whatever you want to call that that thought process whatever it is if there's a name for it i know there's like programs isofirm or not isofirm <laughs> so, whoops you gotta cut that out we gotta cut that out we gotta cut that out uh, iso iso 3000 or whatever there's stuff like that but there's actually a template for this like how they treat employees like there's literally a breakdown of what you're supposed to be doing this is what the, they don't treat people like individuals. You're in, it literally is by a number because yeah. this is what you're supposed to do. Right. Yeah. So can I tell you something? So when I used to interview for jobs, I'd get on Google and I would YouTube, uh, like, a, like I'd play a video in the vehicle on my drive mm -hmm. and I'd let it play in the background and it would say all the questions you're going to get asked. And this guy tells you how to answer them. Right. So I would play this video three or four times before I went in. Sure shit, you go in there. Every question he just asked mm -hmm. that he told me on the way here is asked in a line. Oh, yeah. How much do you like to make an hour? Uh, 40? Well, it's 16 to 20. Then why, you, why in the fuck didn't you just tell me the amount? This is what, why, why do we have to play the what you get paid? You know it's what I mean? That one bugs game. me a lot. Yeah. That one bugs me a lot. Yeah. Like, what? The, the not knowing the pay? No, no, no. Let's say, let's say the advertised amount is 16 20. to 25. We'll okay. Say something like that. Something stupid. But then you're like, well, what, what are your salary expectations? If it's, um, a, if it says 16 to 25, I'm not walking out of there with less than 27. But then they tell you, Hey, it's only a $20 hour. Oh, oh, that's the right. They yeah. literally know the number already is my yeah. point, but they have you say a number anyways. Well, this mm -hmm. is what it is. Why don't you just tell me what the fuck the dollar amount was? Just tell me what it is. You know, like, let's put that out there. Like, why do we have to play the game of answer? Now you're wasting my breath. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, he, I'm, sure, I'm sure you've seen some of that, but I'm like, I don't even know what I'm But it's, everything's on a script, right? It's part of the process. It's part of the fucking. The circle. Circle. See? Sorry, I, Danny, we're rambling. We're yeah, rambling. Yeah, we got to we gotta get rolling. But <laughs> we got to cut out. Makes like, sense if you want to think about it. Five minutes of that. <laughs> Definitely. Good words of wisdom, too. Be, uh. Consistent with your word if you're a leader, right? Yeah. yeah. Or lead by lead by example. Yeah. Or the leaders that are examples give them what they deserve. Hey, we have three words of wisdom right there. Beautiful, man. I love it. Well, uh, you beautiful people out there, if you happen to find us on the interwebs, be sure to like, subscribe, share the whole nine yards. We really appreciate it. We're trying to expand the reach over here. But speaking of that, Jimmer, where's the podcast available, man? Anywhere and everywhere podcasts are available. Uh, are your nipples pierced? <laughs> they used to be. <laughs> of course they were. <laughs> uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, that's right. And uh, don't forget YouTube. But... We love to tell a good story, too, so make sure you hit us up. But where do they do that, Miles? In the DMs. And I'm not talking about the mamas. <laughs> That's right, baby. Hit us up in the DMs. We'll tell the story. We'll keep names in. Take them out. Doesn't matter. If you got something good, maybe we'll throw you some merch, too. We don't have a problem doing that. Not marijuana. Not <laughs> marijuana. How not random is this guy tonight? He's just, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> squirrels, everywhere. squirrels everywhere. Squirrels everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. It's all good. But we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This is 3 Gig Sports. We out.
Got it down around me, damn it, look, I got it right.